Hey, good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. How are you? Breaking developments on your second stimulus check overnight as Wall Street says that a stimulus check will be floated into the continuing resolution. What's a continuing resolution? What is that? I don't know what that thing is in my Mariah voice. I don't know her. Uh, meantime, Wall Street says that stimulus is needed amidst the concern about the Los Angeles lockdown. I'm glad you're paying attention to me being locked down. <laughs> I'm on lockdown. Uh, yeah, I need stimulus as well, and the cows do as well. <laughs> then, all eyes are on Jan Yellen, the person to be, and expected to be announced on Monday as Treasury Secretary, and she may change the negotiations for the second stimulus. Then, finally, viewers continue to get big money. Big, big, big money as this channel pushes, and no new viewers step forward and say, hey, I got money from things I never knew I can get money from. And this is a changing narrative as I continue to get money for viewers immediately around the clock. And this is Cares Act One Money. This is money for you. And you should be getting it right day. And you should be thankful that we're on to a new week. Thank you for joining me. And this is Sunday Mornings LA Light. Good morning, everybody. It's early morning to LA. No, it's Sunday morning to LA. Well, it's noon. Now it's it's morning to LA, and I can't believe it's butter. Not butter. <laughs> Just, uh, yeah, you like cream cheese over butter, and you like bacon over sausage. Those are the answers to the questions this week. Let's see what unfolds this week about your stimulus. That's the big question, and let's see if we get answers. I have them, those answers and more in this recording. But please, please subscribe, because no one's getting you money right now, not five days from now, not five weeks from now. This is money right now, and you're really in need of it. And I don't mean a few cents. I don't mean $500. I don't mean, I don't mean $12 ice cream. I mean... $5,000, $10,000, $15,000. This is no joke. This is a lot of money. And viewers that ultimately were t uh, p uh, cautious and, uh, and unsure about doing it, now everyone is really woken up because I said, go get it. And viewers are saying, thank you, I got it. I got 5,000, I got 10,000. 10, One viewer got 20,000. A lot have gotten 15,000. And now other people say, you know, why aren't we getting that as well for us? We need to be following that LLA. We need to be listening to what he says. You need to listen to the whole video because I'm explaining to you where this money is. And the money's gone in just no less than about 18 days from now. So I don't want you to miss anything. So please subscribe. Go to The Fun Show and hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell there, the alert button, and also like this video. It helps in the algorithm rankings. I'm going to have big details on that money right now in a second. But also in this video today, I will be getting to why there's now three indicators that say your stimulus is coming. And I'll be going over all three of those indicators. New report, new report that says that the money is going to be in the continuing resolution. What is the continuing resolution? Second, uh, lockdowns in California. Why that is now causing Wall Street to say, hey, you, need, you know, you Folks, we really need stimulus. What are you doing here? And third, Janet Yellen, the person to be, the person to be introduced on Monday as a Treasury Secretary pick for Joe Biden. What does she mean for Nancy Pelosi and the negotiations? Those developments are more. And also $2,400 if you're on SSI and SSDI. I'll be getting to that big news as well. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news as you sit here today is that Janet Yellen's announcement uh, or introduction on Monday may be singularly the most important thing for second stimulus, in my prediction, because she is going to change the microscope of what needs to be done. Over the last seven months, we have seen wrangling by Nancy Pelosi that has been uh, chaotic and incoherent and illogical. Illogicalness starts with rejecting Team Mnuchin's offer $400 a week for FPUC in July. 
which was 20 weeks ago, which now would have mounted to $8,000 in your bank account, rejecting his $2,000 stimulus check offer in November, which would have now been an additional $2,000 in your bank account. That would bring you to $10,000. And that would be for all people on SSI, SSDI, Social Security and Railroad Benefits. There was a full stimulus check. It was for all adult dependents, minor dependents. Everyone would have had that stimulus check, rejected that. Off, also offered $300 billion for staying local. That would have given money for essential workers to stay in local. Rejected that as well. A $1.9 trillion offer that was $400 billion higher than the Problem Solvers Bill. Rejected that. Why? Well, not because of the hairstyle. <laughs> rejected it because she didn't like the, the, the uh, grammar he was using in his bill. I, I'm not joking. She literally rejected because she didn't like his grammar. And needless to say, she didn't like his presidential pick either. But now that his his presidential pick uh, uh, effect has taken place, she is no longer talking about grammar. She's talking about going higher. Wall Street says that's never going to happen. Wall Street says you're not going to have a $2 trillion bill ever. And now you're never going to have a $3 trillion bill. And she's still going higher. Well, Janet Yellen is the person to change that approach because Janet Yellen is economist. She is one of the leading economists in the nation, perhaps in the last 10, 15 years, former head of the Federal Reserve, and she will be announced as a Treasury Secretary pick, presumably on Monday. And she is presumed to be already talking to Joe Biden about what type of stimulus needs to be done and when it needs to be done. Nancy Pelosi's approach to when has been illogical. Illogical is the easiest and most politically um, polite word for me to use. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous because Nancy's position is give Americans nothing on holding out for something that will never happen. She's basically never giving you that allowed you to have that $10,000 that Steve Mnuchin would have had in your bank account or $10,000 on holding out for something that she thinks is going to happen and that no one thinks is now going to happen. And let's understand that the Democrats are not in control of the Senate. They may never get control of the Senate and that ultimately Mitch McConnell may be the person to negotiate uh, where you're going to land. And she has to understand that and has never understood it. And what Janet Yellen is presumed to do is step in and say, wait a second, we need to look at the economy and things need to go in there now, not February, not March, now. It should have been in there in November. I don't know what folks are you doing. And there's a rude wake-up call about to happen. And I believe that the Democratic uh centralists, the moderate Democrats, the blue dogs, the new Democratic coalitions, the problem solvers, all the people you should be taking this video and sharing it with on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and hashtag purple power saying, you know what, hashtag LA, say, you know what, this can't go on anymore. This is insane. And that's what Wall Street's saying this morning as well. There's looking at Los Angeles, which, yeah, I'm here, and yeah, it might sound like I'm just trying to give a plug for Los Angeles, but no, Los Angeles is a big economy because Los Angeles County is as, has as many people as some states in the United States. Los Angeles is now under a version of a lockdown. It's not a full lockdown, but the news reports are basically saying Los Angeles lockdown because it's easier to say it that way. The impact of it is businesses need money. The businesses that in, the employees that those businesses employ need money. Uh, the pe people who shop at those businesses need money. The frontline workers need money. SSI and SSDI people need money. All those people need money, and there's nothing there. And in just a few days, unemployment benefits are set to expire. PUA is set to expire, and they're saying. This can't exist anymore. Now, if you were in the live chat on Purple Power Live last night, Ma uh, a person from Maui said, you know what? In Maui, uh, not in Maui, the state of Hawaii, Step Forward is giving additional weeks of UI benefits to extend you further as after January because they see that Wall Street's not doing anything. I talked about that as well a few days earlier. I said, hey, states can extend your UI benefits, but a lot of states like California may not do it because they can't afford because they have too many citizens to do that. And this is why Wall Street is likely to say on Monday, you know what? Now that we see Los Angeles as the as the poster child of fall winter lockdowns, you got to do stimulus. Next, the big twist is the stimulus in the continuing resolution. This shocked viewers yesterday, and it's still shocking viewers today. The following is what's going to happen, says a report.
A continuing resolution, which is a bill to balance the federal budget that's done every three months, called a CR, like Charles uh, Riley, CR, has in it generally just budget stuff. But in the last case, it had stimulus. It had some stimulus in there. Well, the new report says that Mitch McConnell and the Republicans in the GOP Senate um, leadership will slide into their proposal for the CR the stimulus that they want. And we'll basically say, hi, we'll shut down the government unless you give me exactly what we want. And we're not approving your CR unless it has those things in there. So what are the things in there? Stimulus check. Check. One, not checks, because it's December. Two, FPC. Retroactive, yes. How much? Retroactive to September. What's the dollar amount? As low as two fifty a week. Yes. Next, um, PPP for businesses, maybe some EIDL, and then some free things, ev eviction moratorium, mortgage forbearance, student loan repayment, debt, and liability insurance. Take it or leave it is expected to be the words. Now, what are going to be the words on the other side? That's what Wall Street is uncertain about, because ultimately you cannot have UIPUA expire on a national level. It's just catastrophic conditions. You cannot have businesses shut down for months on end because of another lockdown and have no PPP. You can't have people um, have no money and go on lockdown. In the state of New Mexico, for example, just a few days ago, the state gave fortunes to to their citizens and then said, hey, you're going on lockdown. You now have the stimulus, go on lockdown, which is actually what someone else just said a few days earlier you should do. Guess who that person was? The chief coronavirus uh, task force member on the Biden team said, we can do lockdowns if we have stimulus first. Well, guess what? Give us the stimulus first. And that is what would likely happen, says the report. Now, what does that mean? It means stimulus check before the holidays. It means FPC before the holidays. It means PPP before the holidays. That's what the report claims will happen. Is the report true or correct? I don't know. What is my opinion in this situation? I believe, based upon reasonable congressional leaders, and yeah, they're unrational all the time, reasonable, rational, prudent, and normalized uh, thinking processes of congressional leaders, that you will get a single stimulus check, you will get extension of FPUC, and you will get some PPP during the holidays, and eviction moratorium, mortgage forbearance, and all those other things I talked about. Will it be bold and beautiful? I don't think so. Will the stimulus check be bold and enormous? No, I don't think so. Will the FPC be high and, you know, hundreds more than 250 a week? I don't think so. Is it going to be retroactively to July? I don't think so. Is this going to be something that people are going to be happy to see? I don't think so. Is it going to be better than nothing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, the report claims that Nancy Pelosi basically is going to do one of two things. Uh, cave in. Or basically said, no, um, I'll wait to February. I'll wait to May. I'll wait to June. I'll just keep on waiting for something that's never coming. I have tr I have plane tickets to go somewhere, and I'm just going to wait for that plane to arrive. And the plane may never arrive, but I will be so ha happy I'm holding plane tickets to go to Fantasy Island. And that's basically what Wall Street's now saying about the situation, saying things like $600 a week for FPC is never going to happen, saying that $300 billion for, excuse me, $400 billion for state and local is never going to happen. These things are never financial financially going to happen. And I think Wall Street's correct. All right, now let's turn to the big money. And first, before that, let me go to SSI and SSDI. $2,400 if you're on SSI and SSDI? Yes. Um, if you're on SSI and SSDI, you would get three types of items, and they would not be in the stimulus package. They would likely be in a standalone package. Uh, the first item is $2,400, $200 a month, every month, all the way up to December of next year, upwards of $4,000 plus a 20%, up to a 20% increase uh, one time. And this would result in a lifetime increase. And then, and then a new benchmark that would increase your benefits year to date, every time they get reviewed annually. This is all great news. I believe it'll be in a separate bill, not in the stimulus package bill. Finally, let's go to that big money right now. There's three ways to get big money right now. And the incredible great news about the big money right now is that viewers are now finding other methods of getting the money based upon the information I found for them. At this point, we have gotten close to a third of a, tri of a million dollars uh, paid to viewers of this channel 
because of the efforts of this channel. Uh, over $300,000 has been gotten by the viewers of this channel because of the efforts of this channel. There is three types of money that people are getting. But before I start with money, <clears throat> let me start with objects. Yes, viewers have now reported that some of the utility companies on the East Coast and the and the South Atlantic and the Mid Atlantic and the and somewhere in the Midwest as well are now giving viewers appliances like space heaters as uh, as uh, a relief because of this pandemic. Now I will say that the ones that are giving items are sometimes not particularly the utilities companies, but some of the charities which the volunteers of this channel know about. Space heaters, small portable furnaces, and things like that. They don't want you to be cold. God bless them. Next, I also want to say before I continue that certain charities that are religious place based are doing incredible credible salient salient work for the viewers of this channel giving them free rent in cases like houston and other towns there are certain uh, certain charities which i won't see on camera here that are giving they're paying people's rent for five six eight nine months so the the volunteers of this channel know about that as well but now let me turn to the other places where the money has been given <clears throat> city county and state it's sunday i got it city halls closed county halls closed state calls closed you need to be on the computer on your phone, open your phone, talk to the front of the phone. Every phone on the front has a talking function and say open city hall official website, open city official website, open county official website, open state housing authority official website. And in there, you when you're there, you want to look for grants, grants, rental grant, food grant, utility grant. The words we also use are assistance, rental assistance, simple words, because the word grant means too many things and it's too confusing to a lot of people. So use words like assistance and help when talking to people on the phone. Do you have any rental assistance? Do you have any food assistance? Do you have any utility assistance? Um, next, do the same thing with the utility companies. All your utility companies, you may have three utility companies, go on all three or four utility companies websites, search for the same thing. They have these things. I want you to get this money right now because these things aren't going to be around forever. How much money are people getting? They're getting somewhere between anywhere from three months to one year of rent. And then they're getting utilities 99% of the time. I don't think there's a time in which viewers are not getting utilities. So ultimately, I always have someone say, San Bernardino County, California, can you find me rent? I can't find rent. Well, go get utilities. There's utilities. Next, food. Food people keep on forgetting. And even I have people saying, I got, you know, $900 in utilities. I said, did you look for food? I didn't think to look for food. Look for food. There's food as well. So if you get blessed and you get rent and utilities, don't stop and stop there. Stop, continue looking for food. Uh, the next thing is that I now have upwards of about nine volunteers. The volunteers can be found in the community page of this channel. That's youtube.com forward slash LLA forward slash community. That's youtube.com forward slash community forward slash, excuse me, I said it wrong. YouTube.com forward slash LLA forward slash community. It's, under, it's important to understand that when you go to the community page throughout the day, I'm posting the word volunteers. Open that article and then I'll list the volunteers and list more information about it. It's important that you reach out to the volunteers because these are people who uh, you should treat as family. They have stepped forward on their own volition to volunteer to help find you this these grants in your local area after you've looked. So please put the effort in to look first. Don't just have to have people do work for you. Please put the effort in first and then they'll help look this for you as well. These incredible people, they're doing incredible uh, efforts and ultimately the best thing you can do is do your work try to find it and then reach out to them and then they'll help you as well next escalate benefits and then EID out escalate benefits is so simple pull your 2019 tax return get a let open up a letter and write a letter to your unemployment department and send it either electronically or in their portal it says hi I'm making $150 a week for example Please look at my 2019 tax return. See if I qualify for additional weekly benefits, uh, more weekly benefits, extra weekly benefits. And the bottom line is that if you did make $18,000 or more, you will get retroactive 
escalate that. But it's as simple as that. More about that on afternoon's check. Finally, EIDL. EIDL is very simple. Go to spa.gov, apply. Don't wait, it's not gonna be around much longer. More about that on early morning's LLA, which is up in the pinned comments. If you have questions or comments today, so you drop them in the comments below. I might feature them in tomorrow's recording. See you at 12 noon for Holidays LA with big updates on that as well. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and save LA for more.